Good morning. My name is Tom Conkle with Optic Cyber Solutions. I want to take a few moments today to talk to you about the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC. As I mentioned, CMMC is a cyber maturity model. Um, and as we've previously talked about with some of the other uh, webinars on cyber maturity and the concepts, uh, CMMC uh, incorporates all concepts of a traditional cyber maturity model. Um, as you can see here from figure two of C the CMMC version 1.0, model that it is a five point scale um, starting at level one working up till level five and incorporates both process and practice requirements um, as you go up in levels so we can see here that at level one right we're just performing capabilities right we we have the capability in place um, and making sure that we're uh, protecting data, um, more of a, a informal approach, if you will. But as we move up the stack and we get to level three at managed, this is where organizations typically have policies and procedures or are required to have uh, policies and procedures to define or how are we going to manage what our cybersecurity capabilities are. And then when we get up to five, we're proactively updating those policies and procedures um, for changes and threats and technologies, and we're optimizing our cybersecurity program. So in addition to having uh, the five point scale across processes, um, the practice maturity does increase as you go up the scale. Whereas in level one, you're starting at a basic, basic cyber hygiene um, at level three, you have good cyber hygiene all the way up to five where we have advanced or progressive cybersecurity program. So now that we have a little understanding of what the five levels are within CMMC, how do we know what level is appropriate for an organization? So fortunately within the CMMC model, uh, DOD has specified at what level do organizations need to be uh, to meet their criteria. Um, and you'll see that here in the, the table to the right. Um, level one is simply meant to help safeguard federal contract information or FCI data. So if you have a federal contract, federal FCI data within your environment, uh, you will at least need to be a level one maturity. Uh, once you get to level three, this is, these are organizations that actually have controlled unclassified information or CUI information and required to protect that CUI. The level two maturity, uh, uh, level two maturity here is more of a stepping stone. It's a transition point between one and three uh, and is meant to help organizations understand to have a prioritization approach as to what do they need to do as they build their uh, capabilities to be able to handle CUI. So if you're a level one organization today and only process FCI, but are interested in bidding on contracts that would require CUI data to be um, handled, processed, or stored um, by your organization, you can use the level two processes and practices to help begin maturing your program, understanding where the key points are that are appropriate, but you will need to meet level three criteria um, before you can build a bid on those level three solicitations. Uh, four and five are are still being further defined uh, for what organizations will require those, um, but four and five are more reserved to those types of organizations that have a larger footprint or a larger attack surface where the, an advanced persistent threat may be um, looking to try to uh, come and attack and get that CUI information from them. Um, so for right now, uh, most organizations are gonna fall into either one or three, depending on if they're just processing FCI or if they have CUI. So with that consideration, let's talk about a little bit more about what does it mean to be maturity level one and three. So as you can see here on the left from figure four of the CMMC model, there are 17 cybersecurity domains within CMMC. Only six of those domains are required at level one. Um, and then we can see here on figure, from figure five of the CMMC model that for level one, there are 17 practices. So within the six security domains, um, that are required at level one, there are 17 discrete practices that have to be performed. So remember the, the concept of both implementing capabilities as we go up the model and the process maturity. So at level one, we're just performing them. When we get to level three, all 17 domains come into effect 
and there are 130 practices that have to be implemented. And that's why level two was important to help set that prioritization because it is a rather large step between level one and three um, with the 130 practices. Um, so this was a way to help organizations understand their prioritization and what, how they can begin uh, their uh, effort to get to level three. Um, the good part about level three is while there are 130 practices, most of those practices are the same security controls that were in this uh, special publication 800-171, which was the previous requirement for DFARS before CMMC went into effect. So 110 of those practices um, are either very similar or uh, word for word what was previously there. So there's only a, a few new handful new pra of new practices that need to come into play at level three. CMMC does it continue to incorporate the concept of a system security plan? SSPs are not new. Um, these are the way that uh, DOD has been, and many other organizations, used to capture the current state of their cybersecurity program. And it's basically a summary of what are you doing to implement each one of the practices as necessary. There is a lot of other freely available information out there, and I just wanted to highlight some of these for you. Uh, and this information will also be in the description below um, so that you'll be able to, to pull the links directly from there. Uh, but just to quickly walk through it, you'll see here the first set of uh, resources that are free and available come from the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, uh, and they include things such as the model itself. This is the CMMC model that we've been talking about that defines uh, what are the capabilities and expectations of the DOD supply chain. Um, they've also published uh, assessment guides for both levels one and three so you know exactly what the assessor is going to do um, when they show up what are they assessing for what type of interviews will conduct questions will they be having it's not a step-by-step -step, uh, guideline and the certifiers will still be able to tailor interview guides as necessary but it'll give you the topics and the things that they'll be asking or the things that they'll be looking for uh, so that help you prepare for that certification before it comes and then always of course uh, Optic Cyber Solutions maintains a resource page with a lot of different resources there. Specifically, wanted to call out the CMMC version 1.02 profile template. Uh, this template uh, does help uh, pull all of the CMMC practices into one place so that you can sort through them based on, on maturity level or based on their domain um, to help implement what's capabilities that you have or define your capabilities and begin writing your SSP. Um, as such, the profile has multi, uh, separate columns to help you be able to define what are the process capabilities that you have in place uh, towards meeting CMMC. Again, if it's level one, how can you demonstrate that you're just performing at level three? What policies do you have that align to the practices? Um, and then there's a, uh, another place in the template to help you define what it is you're doing, right? So that we can say these are the policies we have and this is how we've implemented the policies and then another value that that profile template provides is it does have a mapping to 800 so that if you have your existing cybersecurity program was aligned to 171 it's a way to quickly translate from 171 to the CMMC practices um, to demonstrate where the you know where you may need to um, focus your attention before calling a certifier if you will be happy to answer any questions again Again, my name is Tom Conkle. Feel free if you have questions to reach out. Love to hear from you.